We got here because of a lot of people uh, and a lot of great leadership. And it starts, and I think it would be unfair if we didn't say it, it starts with this man to my left, Mike Jacobson, in his 29th year as athletic director. It was a great opportunity, the way I could see it. They, you know, told me what was here. They talked about their vision, and, uh, and I was excited to come and be a part of it and, and see if I couldn't contribute in some way. Well, going from Utah Technical College to Utah Valley University, I think when I started out, we had about uh, 4,000 students. Now we've got about 40,000, so <laughs> big changes. This was a program that had no money. It had no full-time staff, literally. Uh, Mike was the first full-time employee. The, the basketball coaches, uh, everything was like a part-time position. They were here as a faculty member with a stipend. Took it from something small and relatively successful to something that no one imagined could happen. Mike always used um, kind of the example of we are the front porch of the university. He was a man of great vision of where we could be and of insight and inspiration of how to get there and a passion and the perseverance to make it happen. We are what we are today because of Mike Jacobson's strength. Just the consummate professional. Um, a gentleman in every situation and um, passionate, and I love that. He's just a great human, a great individual, somebody that I looked up to and consider a mentor. Well, they let you do about anything you want. It's the way it was when I was there before. So when you look at Mike's contribution to the university, it wasn't just to athletics, it actually became institutional wide. I think it was unique to come from a uh, football coach to an AD for 29 years. I don't know that anybody in our department or anybody uh, going forward will see the changes. Hello, Mike. How are we doing? Good, buddy. How are you? Good. Long Good time see no see. Yeah, sure. One of the things that he brought to the institution was continuity to the whole program. I mean, look at his career, 29 years here. He took it from a program that had little or nothing and he built it into something that was respected across the state and in the, in the West. He expected uh, us to be successful. He expected us to act the part um, and that we represented the university, the athletic department, because as we did that um, with class and with, with respect, we would be doing that for ourselves and also our families. He was a, a good man, good leader, and uh, you know, led by example, you know, example, so. I try to give people that work for me in, is, you know, to be their own person. And uh, I always used to figure that I wanted to surround myself with greatness. He always set a great example, too, of uh, hard work, dedication, and loyalty. So it's pretty easy to follow him. But a lot of times the coaches that we were able to hire, the people we were able to hire, it was a first time opportunity for them. and so. I, I needed to be able to support them. They needed to be, be able to have confidence they could come to me and, and ask me questions or um, quite often it was for more money and I couldn't necessarily help them with that all the time, but we did the best we could. But uh, we, we were a team and that's what I can always, I mean, we were like this. Mike did more than any one person to help uh, UVU to have success athletically and move from the junior college area into NCAA Division I. Mike had the guts to get us to Division I athletics, and that was a big move for the entire university. He was one of the only leaders that could take us through that transition. As we looked at Division I, which really seemed like the only option we had as we looked around at conferences and who we could play, it was, uh, it was this very difficult task that we, as we looked at it, nobody had ever gone straight from junior college to Division I athletics. We didn't even know if it was possible or not. Nobody in the history of the NCAA has really thought about doing that. They all thought we'll go through, through the Division II ranks. We didn't know what was the closest Division II program to us. They actually made an announcement to, the, to just to the coaches that we were going to go Division II. But Mike just said, no, we're, gonna, we're a Division I university. And so we began to explore our options with the NCAA, and they were telling us, well, there's nothing that prohibits it. And so we made our declaration to go to, to Division I. My own prideful self, I think. I, uh, you know, we were doing really well as, as a junior college. I just thought we, were, we had the potential to, to be a, 
a four-year institution to have the, the athletics, an athletic program that was on, on that level. And, and then they made another announcement, and that was that we were going to go to Division One. Literally, everybody said we can't do it. Everybody, the media, my friends, people around, other schools, they just said we couldn't do it. And you can ask my wife, you don't tell Jacobson you can't do anything. It truly is, a, I think, a modern miracle in collegiate athletics, and I, I can't pay enough tribute to Mike and his contribution. We're all here uh, because of that vision and, and that tenacity that Mike Jacobson had. And we had this seven-year uh, hiatus that we had where we couldn't compete in, in uh, postseason play. And so that was a really difficult time, and Mike pulled everybody together and made sure that we had the momentum and the excitement. It was hard. I remember just being involved in meetings and meetings and meetings and just kind of like, is this the right thing to do? So that was seven recruiting classes that you had to sell just on the vision. It gave us the time to, to, to build our structure, to build our coaches, to build our support staffs, to improve our facilities, to raise more money, and, and no regrets at all on that, on that. The time went awfully fast. And Mike did just so many things for uh, our advancement onto uh, Division I, and that's really what we had to do. If we're going to be able to compete, then we had to have the facilities to do that. I think it's just like being an athlete, is that when those sort of obstacles come along and challenges come along, then it's, uh, okay, what do I do? How do I get through this? And that's what athletics did and with the mindset that Mike had. The Utah Valley University has accepted an invitation to join the Western Athletic Conference. Going from the Great West to the WAC and to see his hard work and diligence to get us there. Utah Valley University was a great place to be. It had a great future. It had a great reputation. It has a tremendous location. No one person does or accomplishes anything. It takes a lot of people uh, with a lot of hard work and a focus and a de determination and a, and a commitment to making something like that work. I mean, I had many talks with Mike Jacobson about my future and my career um, and even, you know, just personal things that, that we deal with in the community. It's just the passion he had for athletics, the passion that he brought to Utah Valley Athletics and, and he developed that and he, his passion that he had invigorated the whole campus. I mean, he was so excited about where athletics was taking us and what uh, was happening with student athletes. And he knew all the student athletes and he wanted to, to spread that passion across the institution and what athletics can mean for an institution. He always talked about athletics and the fact that it was the front porch of the institution. Just having that vision, um, I think he saw what, what Utah Valley uh, could become in the future. And it was easy to jump on that wagon and take that ride uh, forward with him. I think Mike's legacy is going to be a legacy of success. He expected that from all of us as uh, coaches, as staff members. Um, anything that we did, it was important for us to make sure that uh, we were successful in what we were doing. It's been over a period of 30 years, but it's really, there's, we've been building something the whole time. The beautiful campus of Utah Valley University. He is truly a champion of the student athlete, and as our athletic director, he knew his role and that was to further students' success through the medium of athletics. That was a role he played extremely well. He just is relentless in his work ethic, um, not afraid of anything. Being available, being visible, um, were two of the things that I really appreciated about Mike. He expected everybody to do their best. He expected every athlete to do their best. He expected the people who worked in athletics to do their best. And that spread throughout the whole campus. You know, when he walked around the campus, when he talked to people, he was talking about what they could do to make the institution better, and he expected that out of athletics as well. You know, they, he wanted to make sure that we competed for championships. His legacy will continue to live on, and we'll continue to honor him as a personal mentor of mine, but also as a friend and as somebody that's well-respected in the community. My office staff made me look good. When my coaches win, that makes me look good, okay? When we're able to build nice facilities because of donations of others, that makes me look good. We knew that with Mike that we had Alice. 
Alice helped lighten Mike up sometimes that he needed to and kind of get a little bit uptight about certain things. And, and so every time we kind of get together and come to certain things, Alice was there. I, I wouldn't change anything about any of it from the time we started at Springville High School to the time we finished at UVU. It was, it was a, a good life, but there's something special about Utah Valley University and being a Wolverine it, it, from Utah Tech to where we are today. And you could just see, you could just see the love and passion that you had for UVU athletics. In the role that I'm in now, uh, go to a lot of games and events. And and my mentor, the person that I watched do this, was was Mike. He was always there. If you're going to be successful, you got to surround yourself with greatness, and that's always been my philosophy. And most everybody I hired was more talented, had better thoughts, better inspirations than what I had. I'm proud to be a part of something that I helped to, to create.